So I just thank you for sitting down as well. How's the season's gone so far in your opinion? It's been a bit up and down. Um, as of late, we, we've picked up a lot. So I think we've got things to look forward to over the Christmas period. And if we can maintain the sort of form we've, we've shown in the last sort of eight, nine games, then, then we'll do well. It seems with Sammy, it seems a bit of a rollercoaster season. Like there's immense highs, there's also immediate lows, especially after the, the five and defeat against Peterborough. Uh, is that the way you've seen, seen the season? Um, I wouldn't say immense highs and lows because we, we know what football is. It's, it is highs and lows, but it's not the immense highs and lows that probably the fans feel. Um, we don't feel like we've been outplayed in any game. Yeah. So we know it's just the matter of tweaking little things and not getting too high, not getting too low. We, we know that we've probably had the opportunities to win every game. Um, so it doesn't worry us too much. If we were getting battered every week, then yeah. we'd have to look at ourselves and think what's going on here. But it's just tweaking little things like maybe, maybe a little bit better finishing and a bit better picking up in the box and that's all it takes and then we win the next game. Speaking of finishing, you've finished and you've scored eight goals this season. Is that a uh, Nine. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that a figure you're yeah, uh, happy with at the moment? Um, yeah, after the slow start, I guess. Um, I'm just looking to score, set people up and hold the ball up, bring other people into play. So over the last few years, I've sort of changed my outlook on the goals. Um, I think I got 17 last year and people were in the 20s, so but I think I had a, a lot of assists. So I was just happy to help the team and, and that's, I think, the mentality of every player we've got in the squad. But is it, it finishing? Is it sometimes just have a mental block that gets us just one of the things? Because you do get like majority of the chances. I think it's just one of those things. Um, most of the one on ones I miss, I've ran from the halfway line. So it, it's a little bit of everything. Um, been working with Lee Jones um, to put it right. But the ones that I've had where I've just been slipped through, I've put away no problem. So I think it's just where I've ran so far with the ball, having to beat men. And I, I tend to not miss the target, I just hit, hit the keeper's ankle or something like that. So it's just, there's inches in it. Yeah. Um, so once one goes in, I'm pretty confident I'll score the next one. Is it, is it sort of like, and I don't want myself from playing Sunday League, but when I miss a chance, it's sort of it's still on the back of my head and I'm thinking about it in the night. Is it, is it the same for you sometimes? Yeah, um, obviously the gaffer tells me not to not to do that, but I think about I still think about the one at Wembley. Mm. Still, I can remember everyone I've missed, but during the game I, I've learned to deal with it a different way. I'm, I sort of laugh if it happens now, because if I don't, I'll get angry and I'll be thrown off my game. And, I'm just ready to put the next one away and it just it helps me keep a clear head. Yeah, that's a good ask. It is just a case of getting back on the pitch and um, sort of doing um, just just getting back to the form and scoring and sort of putting the mistakes out of your mind. Yeah, as long as it's not the last kick of the game, I know that I could always get one more chance. So if I allow that to throw me off my game, then I won't be able to play for the rest of the game and, and if, if the next chance comes along, I won't be prepared for it. Cheers, that's all good. No worries. Cheers.